This video tip is brought to you by the fifth course in our Catman Masters series, Assortment, New Shopper-Focused Metrics and Advanced Technologies. There are many changes happening in the industry that require us to advance our approach in assortment. For many of us, this has become a very tactical and non-strategic part of our business. Based on this, we've put together a set of assortment best practices based on much research, some direction from Catman 2.0, and working with some different solution providers in the industry. In this video, I will walk you through one best practice on when you should create store clusters and localized assortments. Our first best practice is to have well-articulated assortment strategies. Retailers need to have well-articulated strategies, like the examples on the left here, to identify what their overall strategies are and how they tie in with assortment decisions that are made across their categories. Manufacturers also need strategies, and sometimes their assortment strategies are very vague or not well defined at all. The opportunity is to have strategies across different retail formats and channels, understanding where their SKUs in different categories are most developed based on shoppers, trips, and missions. Manufacturers also need to understand their retailers' strategies so that they can come with tailored recommendations that best reflect each unique retailer's shopper needs and consider what they are trying to accomplish. Both retailers and manufacturers need to ensure that their assortment strategies consider other components that tie in with category management. Category structure, where the correct segments or subcategories are determined via the category decision tree, and then that information is integrated into the item level data for a shopper perspective in all analysis, including assortment. Store clusters and localized. To understand current requirements for clusters and localized assortments and determine if it's necessary for your categories. I'm going to go through an example of this in a minute. You also need to consider category roles and strategies which have direct implications on depth of assortment and types of products to be carried in specific categories. Without these considerations, your assortment analysis, decisions, and recommendations will be limited, as they won't align to overall retailer or manufacturer strategies. I love this quote. The primary tactic when it comes to assortment is to identify those parts that can be kept as tight and centrally managed as possible with a minimum impact on sales. Relix Solutions is an organization that provides assortment and space planning tools to retail and CPG, and they've shared some perspective on making strategic choices about when you should even think about store clusters and localized assortments at retail. Centralized assortment, or carrying the same range of products in every store, is an important driver of sourcing and supply chain economics. This approach is also effective at driving down supply chain costs. For example, having five variants of what is essentially the same product can more than double distribution center inventory due to the extra safety stock needed to ensure availability for distribution. More variety also means more warehouse picking locations, leads to lower volumes per product, and thus increases supply chain handling and space costs. Variety means more capital is tied up in stock, while supply chain operations are far less cost effective. Offering a central assortment, modified potentially only by store size to increase assortment variety within larger stores, is the most cost-effective mode of operating for a retailer. However, most retailers want to understand and serve their customers better and offer them the products they really want, i.e., they want to build a more customer-centric assortment through store-specific assortments, ultimately increasing sales and margins, driven by consumers being more likely to buy products from a range that is matched directly to their tastes, requirements, and needs. In the longer term, an additional benefit is increased customer loyalty as they perceive stores to be more convenient and pleasant to shop in because of the carefully tailored assortment.
cluster level assortment where stores are clustered by consumer demographic and demand characteristics and where the assortment is varied accordingly falls in the midpoint of centralized and customer-centric assortment the first step towards intelligent differentiation is clustering stores based on the similarities between the demand characteristics experienced by each grouping stores based on how customers want to shop in them this makes it possible to build assortments that fit each store very well but by applying them to larger groups of stores with similar profiles it allows some of the efficiencies of scale associated with central assortment many retailers have increased sales by two to four percent through intelligent assortment differentiation without the need to build store level assortments so as we've established centralized assortment delivers the highest fully cost loaded product margin while store level drives up costs and reduces margin the point where profits are maximized is reached when the increasing costs of differentiation start to outweigh the impact of increased sales margins that would be achieved through further differentiation this zone i've got marked in which indicates the degree of assortment differentiation a sustainable position balancing low costs with great customer focused service which yields the most profit for the retailer here are some examples of when demand-based assortment clustering is likely to be most critical highly fragmented categories dynamic rapidly changing categories retailers with distinctive target audiences and retailers with widely varying format footprints if you'd like to learn more about store cluster and localized assortments as well as other best practices for advanced assortment you may want to purchase our catman masters online course or full program you will learn more advanced ways to move forward with your assortment approach happy learning